that's my November horoscope for the water signs. So this is starting with Cancer. So Cancers, this month you have a focus with uh, relationships as well as um, health, as well as family for you. I feel like for this month for you, um, Cancerians, it's all about like you're thinking about yourself. And I want to say you need some sort of self-healing that's coming up this month in November. I feel like you need to kind of take it easy or you've been too hard on yourself. You're also, there's something about you can't negotiate with. And I feel like it's about work, work or also to do with study as well. But something about no negotiation, like you have to do it. Um, and it's something you don't really want to do, but it's something you're going to have to do this month. I also feel like there's like a, there is some a big announcement to be made. And I feel like that's about finances or money. I do feel like this month is going to be about like sharing your skills with others too. And also, I'm going to say you're putting people in their place this month here, Cancerians. You're not, you're not taking the back seat. You're in the front seat. You're taking control this month. You're also, it's like you're no longer hiding anymore either. You're really coming out, showing off your true colors. There is a, a secret admirer around you this month that I get to Cancerians. Um, someone that's really wanting um, to show you how much they care for you and they want to be on your side. I just feel like there's some sort of secret admirer or love that's coming through for you for the month of November, Cancerians. Um, you're also going through a big transformation comes to relationships this month. You're also, I feel like... You're ticking a list off. It's like they don't meet the someone doesn't meet the requirements or doesn't tick your your list. I feel like there's a could be a thing of sort of axing people out of your life. You're kind of being a little bit cutthroat this month here, um, Cancerians, and you're. I just feel like you're really not letting anyone sort of kind of telling you what to do here. You're you're about this negotiating about no keeping hearing no negotiation. So I just feel like maybe it's your attitude or maybe it's just the way you are with people this month. Um, I do have a sense that you're really wanting to, I see you actually doing a lot of walking and exercising this month here, um, Cancerians, you're getting back in the rhythm of things or getting back into a routine. I feel like you're very tired though, you need a lot of sleep and a lot of rest. I feel like that people around you are really being like wanting your time and wanting your energy and you just need this month to have a time out, be by yourself or be with people that sort of understand you a bit more. Um, but I feel like Though you're also trying to camouflage yourself too. You're trying to, there is this aspect of also trying to hide. I feel like this is going to happen early of the month because later in the month, I just feel like you're, you're more about coming out here and putting people in their place and not taking any, anything from others. So this is for Scorpios. Scorpios, this month you might be feeling um, a lot more strength and more courage as well as a little bit argumentative or a bit more angrier. You do have Mars in your first house um, for this month here, uh, Scorpios. And you have also the focus with your earnings and communication. Perhaps it's time to sign some contracts here. Um, looking at start, looking at starting a new job or a new um, new place with internal refer referrals. But there's some sort of communication or contract signing to do with your work. And there's also um, a focus on your 12th house to really hide things. It's like you're trying to... Put yourself in a position where you're very guarded. You're pulling back in terms of like love. And even with finances, I feel like you're pulling back this month. You're really trying to not overspend. You're really putting things in perspective for yourself. You're you're going through a bit of a, I want to say a bit of a battle. About Scorpios, you're, you're really trying to be like friendly. You're making an effort with people. Even if they're not making an effort with you, you're making an effort with them. There is a sense of they're going through like deep meditations or just going within though with you here. And it's like you're ready to start a new chapter. It's like you're all ready to start the new year even though we're not quite there yet. There is a sense here of wanting to give up certain addictions like we're smoking. But I feel like there's certain addictions here that we want to give up. And we're looking at starting like fresh. Um, but there is like these new beginnings that we're coming into, like we're opening up a new chapter and I feel like this is about more like about you and yourself. It's like we're going in very deep this month, uh, Scorpios, into where you, where you are. Um, but I just feel like there's like this deep meditation. There's a lot of angel and your energy around you this month too and spiritual energy that's coming up. Um, it might feel like things have been like an uphill battle, but 
you're on the mend and you're really your your intuitions are really heightened you're also looking for people that are very loyalty around you but things that by the end of the month are starting to open up for you and are getting a bit more easier a bit more lighter but i feel like you're setting people straight as well um but there also is this focus on your income and your wealth and your money as well as i feel like love is also um when we get to the end of the month is also a big big thing on your list to be able to overcome or just to find that one or just short, like starting to um work out any relationship issue that's coming up your way too there's been anything big work i feel like you are really taking leaps and bounds but you're being held back a little bit but you're really trying to work out how you can really forge forge through without being held back any longer because it's like you're ready now you're ready to take that leap you've got that all within you and it's like it's kind of you, you feel like it's your time and you really are trying to move forward with that this is for pisces so pisces this month for you there is a I feel like there's a focus of really going deep and I feel like you're trying to really shield yourself. Would you have Saturn that is moving direct in your sign? So I feel like people that are in the first half or the really that first part of Pisces, you might feel like there's just some problems that are coming up around your life, whether it be just simple, like a little bit here and there where things just aren't going your way. But there's a sense of, I feel like there's a little bit of anxiety here, Piscearians. Um, it's like be, be nice to yourself, treat yourself with care. There is a sense there's also a focus on your career there's also a focus on like to studying higher learning as well as the eighth house so money for you i do feel like there is a reward coming your way for the hard effort hard work that you have been putting in there is like you're getting frustrated because you're not getting the clarity that you want from like to your intuition if you're a light worker um i feel like there's a sense of you trying to be more of a healing or a healer and trying to activate like heal like healing around you as well you Pisarians. i feel like there's something you don't want to hear that's coming up this month as well someone's trying to tell you something or there's so signs that are all around you and you really don't want to hear that and you're really uh just don't want to hear what's coming up around you you do have a kind heart and you are being very being very alert in what's coming up here Pisarians for them this month of November and it's like you're trying to attract the right people but you don't want to be stung at the same time you're really trying to use your niceness you're trying to use your empathetic that you the, the empathy um you're very empathetic sign so you're trying to use that to reach people too but there's a sense of not wanting to get hurt um and being very protective of yourself too I want to say there is a situation where you're feel like maybe you're in too deep or you're in half deep and with that i feel like you have no option but to move forward with that i feel like you can't just stay where you are this could be to do with that house i feel like you you've come this far now you might as well just keep going and you can't really hold yourself back there is a sense of there's a blind trust here that's coming up here to Pisarians where you're really looking at trusting people but there's a sense of being blinded as well so it's like blind trust that's coming in um, for this month of November but there's a lot of courageous there's a lot of intuition that's coming up here for your sign you're very psychic you're very in, in, got a lot of intuition that's coming up and you're really using that to be able to navigate to where you're going you're really capable um, there's an aspect though I feel like you're wanting to hide but it's going to be that you're going to have to come out and show the world who you are as well because you can't hide forever Pisarians so that's what I get for Pisces